Ludumdare 46. The theme is keep it alive, but as usual, the real theme is that this theme sucks. So the first thing I do in a game jam is write down all the ideas that come to mind when I look at the theme, so that way I know what not to make. Then I go do literally anything else for a few hours and let my subconsciousness work on coming up with an interesting idea. The best game jam ideas are 1. actually fun and 2. can be made in less than 8 hours because there's no way I'm wasting my entire weekend on this. Alright, so I got the idea. Um, I'm going to make a game where the plot is that you're on like a space colony and like the radiation shielding broke so everyone got like horrible cancers that are killing them. So the doctor was like, I'll just remove all the cancerous limbs and organs and I'll stitch you guys together so you can share organs until we get the organ printing machine working. But then space pirates attack and are attacking the base and so you have to get all the colonists to escape safely. So the way, so what you're doing is every level you'll have like a few characters you control each individually and they're all linked together by like intestine chains and then some of them won't have legs but will have like a mouth and a digestive tract so you have to like drag them over to food so that you can increase the distance you can travel before starving to death and so you have to like drag these bodies around some of them can walk and some of them can't you're dragging them by your intestines while there are these pirates like running around in the base and you have to avoid them so you don't get shot and die so that's the basic gist of what i'm going for right now I sketched a quick mock-up of the game and then got to work making the art assets. Someone in my stream chat suggested using the Soft Milk 32 color palette which looked pretty good so I went with that. Once I was done making the player character enemy and background sprites, I went to sleep. Then Saturday afternoon I got started coding the gameplay. I started with figuring out the rogue physics for the intestines, then implemented the characters with art and animation. There we go. <laughs> 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 I'm so excited for this. <laughs> and then I got it working with multiple characters. Next I set up the environment art and collisions and then the eating and starvation mechanics. There's a stomach UI that drains as you walk and if you move your character that has a mouth over food it will refill. Finally I got to work implementing the enemy. It can either start in an idle or patrol state and if it spots the player will give chase then when it's in range will shoot a flamethrower. If the flames hit the player then they get set on fire and die and if the flames hit the intestines they will light on fire and break and the fire will spread out the line eventually killing the player. I then made a few tutorial levels and called it for a night. Sunday morning I redid a lot of the sprites, I didn't care for the outlines on the characters and I didn't like the color scheme on the background sprites so I remade them. Then I added in a laser barrier and retina scanners that if you put characters in front of will open the laser doors. I then recorded some sound effects, I used celery for chewing sounds and orange for squishy noises and I blew into my hand for the flamethrower sound effect and rotated a pot lid for the door. For the retina scanner beep I used BFXR. Finally I recorded some voice lines for the enemies and put a radio sound effect on them with audacity. With all the assets together I rushed to make some more levels and an intro and outro before I ran out of time. Then I uploaded the builds and was done. Took me about 16 hours to make, so only double my original goal which is pretty good. As for the game itself, it feels like a tech demo. The concept is really cool, but I feel like I'm only barely scratching the surface of what can be done with it. And the game is fairly buggy and clunky and stuff, but you know, time restrictions. Anyways, link in the description if you want to play or check out the source code. I've also linked a playlist of the live streams if you want to see how I made it. Though the last stream got taken down for violating YouTube's terms of service somehow. Also, I'm planning to start streaming regularly um, on Twitch. It's apparently programming is illegal on YouTube, so link to my Twitch in the description as well. Mm -hmm.